Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In view of the prevalent COVID conditions, you are requested to adhere to the COVID appropriate behaviors like wearing masks properly, washing hands frequently, maintaining social distancing and avoiding crowded places. In the headlines today, what makes Team RSP unique? Is it steely? Resolve not to achieve but to exceed the targets, says Mr. Amarindu Prakash, DIC, BSL and RSP. Health camp organized in the industrial slums by Sale Rockla Steel Plant and the great literator Gopal Chandra Praharaj. Now the news in detail. What makes RSP unique is its steely resolve not to achieve but to exceed the targets, said Mr. Amrindu Prakas, director in charge of Bukhara Steel Plant and Rockla Steel Plant in a virtual interaction session held with executives in the rank of E1 to E5 of Sale RSP on 10th November 2021. The session was attended by frontline executives spread across the plant. All the executive directors, many chief general managers and other senior officers of the plant also joined the online program. Citing the example of famous athlete Sarji Bubka, who ruled in pole vault, each time setting a new benchmark breaking his own record, Mr. Prakash further said, a culture of excellence prevails in RSP where the people are determined to keep excelling in their endeavours. Being better than yourself, whatever I am today, can I be better than this? How can I stretch myself to become even better than wherever I was? Raurkela Steel Plant, I'm happy to see, is exactly in that position. You are the Sergei Bobka of today. You have set a record. Now our job in coming time is to make sure that we better our record. You can be a we can build a better RSP. RSP can have a better record than wherever we have reached today. So from my side, only one message. Culture of excellence is all about being, bet not just about being better than others. It is about being better than what I am today. Exhorting the collective to soar new heights with renewed efforts, the DIC said, let's explore and peak three specific areas where we can focus extensively to become world beaters and set benchmarks for others to emulate. Explaining the importance of human resource in an organization giving an example of a Japanese anecdote, the DIC said that the workforce of RSP is considered amongst the best in the country. Mr. Prakash also encouraged the young executives to spell out their dreams pertaining to RSP. Pick up three parameters, any three parameters. It can be a beta margin, it can be specific energy consumption, it can be people satisfaction index, it can be customer satisfaction index. Anything that you can think of in your area, whichever area you are in. And let us set our target in being the best, not in sale, not in India, but being the best in the world. So. Uh, my thought is, my proposal is, let us take up three parameters, any parameters. You can debate amongst yourself, you can discuss with yourself, you can do some research on the internet, who is doing better in what, where we are. And let us decide, we will take three parameters in which Raukela steel plant will be the best in the world. The world produces 2000 million ton of steel each year. Let us say this 5 million ton plant, this 4.5 million ton plant is going to be the best in the world in at least three parameters. In the open house interaction session, the frontline executives directly interacted with the DIC and gave many suggestions regarding their respective areas of work and township. Ms. Rashi Banerjee, CGM HRD, presented the introductory note and also coordinated the interaction session. Sale Rockula Steel Plant has intensified its effort to provide health checker facilities at the doorsteps of the residents of the steel city and also to contain the spread of dengue and malaria in and around the steel township. On a regular basis, CSR Department of RSP, in collaboration with ISPA General Hospital, has been organizing health checkup camps at different locations both within and outside the township. On 10th November 2021, a health camp was organized at Bolangir Basti, Sector 3, for the residents of the area through the mobile medical unit. In all, 150 persons were examined and treated by Dr. Satyajit Mishra, ONG, and Dr. Aditya Bisoi, Medicine. Biochemistry blood tests were carried out by Mr. Manish Abhi Adiria, Assistant Pathologist. 
medicines as per prescriptions of the doctors was distributed free of cost to the patients. As a part of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav celebration, Sail Raukila Steel Plant is presenting a series of news on the eminent personalities of Odisha, some well known and some lesser known. Today's personality is Gopal Chandra Praharaj. Gopal Chandra Praharaj was born on 9th September 1874 in village Sideshwarpur in Katak district. A lawyer by profession, Praharaj wrote several satirical and analytical essays in various magazines on the social, political and cultural issues of contemporary Odisha during early 19th century. He compiled Purnachandra Bhasha Kosha, the first Odia encyclopedia which is still date a monumental linguistic work. Bhagavat Tungira Sandhya, Bai Mahanti Panji, Mia Sahebanko, Rojana Mocha, Baduniyara Halachalo, Nanaka Bastani, Amo Ghororo Halachalo, etc. are his other immortal literary creations. Paraj used the colloquial speech of Odisha along with Hindustani, Parsi, English, Sanskrit and folk language in his writings. His lucid description and simple language are inviably exemplary. He breathed his last on 16th May 1945. And with this we come to the end of this news bulletin. Namaskar.